In this video, you'll learn how to allow end users to resize data rows, how to predefine the height of data and group rows, how the grid adjusts row height based on currently applied styles, and how you can use a specially designed event to specify custom height for individual rows. At design time, click the View label to access its properties, expand Options Customization, and enable the Allow Row Sizing property. End users can now resize rows by dragging any row's bottom edge. Note this changes the row height for all rows at once. End users cannot freely resize individual rows. You can predefine row height at design time or via code using the grid views properties. Row height sets the height for data rows. Group row height sets the height for group rows. Group grid data to see that the changes were applied. Grid row height is also affected by applied visual styles. To illustrate this, first turn on the Enable Appearance Odd Row option. Then access the Odd Row Appearance settings and change the font size. You'll see that the row height changed, but once again it's changed for all rows at once, not only odd rows. If you allow end users to resize rows at runtime, they won't be able to resize them less than required to display odd rows completely. To apply height to individual rows, you'll need to handle the Calc Row Height event. Let's use it to specify different height for odd and even rows. And let's run the application to see that now rows have a different height, as set by the event handler code. 